Now you can also have numbers written in index form. So numbers with a power, for example, 5 to the power of 2. And then that can be also to another power, for example, to the power of 3. Now what that means is 5 squared times 5 squared times 5 squared, because it's being cubed, isn't it? So that is 5 squared times 5 squared times 5 squared. If you were to write that out in full, you would end up with 5 times 5, that's a 5 squared, times 5 times 5, that's another 5 squared, and then finally times 5 times 5, that's the final 5 squared. So overall, in index form, you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of them, so it is 5 to the power of 6. So what have you done to 2 and 3 to get 6? You've multiplied them. So another example, let's say we had 7 to the power of 4, and then that was to the power of 10. You would have to multiply the powers, and you would get 7 to the power of 4 times 10, which is 40. So that's how you simplify powers to the powers.